Hi, and welcome to Alex. This video will introduce you to the Alex program, what it is, how it works, and what you and your students can expect. First off, Alex is an acronym. It stands for Assessment and Learning in Knowledge Spaces. What is a knowledge space? Let's go back to the beginning. In the 1980s, a cognitive scientist from Belgium named Jean-Claude Famanier believed that human competence of a subject could be measured in a precise and meaningful way. This would then create an effective, efficient learning experience. You see, traditional multiple choice tests only result in numerical measures of achievement. They fail to explicitly delineate which skills and concepts students know and don't know. Professor Famanier wanted to change how we assess knowledge. So, he began to develop a mathematical language that could precisely assess knowledge states of individuals. A knowledge state is the set of skills and concepts mastered by an individual in a given subject, such as algebra, as well as the set of topics that individual is ready to learn. Every individual has a unique knowledge state. Each time an individual forgets a topic or learns a topic, they move to a different knowledge state. All of the feasible knowledge states for a given subject are organized into what we call a knowledge space. Let's look at a simple example of a course with only five topics, A, C, I, G, and H. Each bubble in this knowledge space represents a knowledge state, and the arrows specify the precedence relation between each knowledge state. For example, the knowledge state in red is for a student who knows how to do topics G, H, and I. That student is ready to learn topics A and C. The ultimate goal is to get each student to the full state by taking the most efficient path possible. This particular knowledge space of just five topics results in 16 feasible knowledge states. Drawing the same type of graph for an Alex course that contains hundreds of topics is not only daunting, but impractical. Some idea of the difficulty is conveyed by this graph, which represents the learning space of just 45 of the topics in Alex Beginning Algebra. Every point in the graph here represents a knowledge state and the colors of the lines linking the states correspond to the various topics. And if we scroll out, we begin to see the sheer size of a knowledge base for just 45 topics. The Alex assessment and learning engines are capable of efficiently managing such enormous structures. Now imagine what the space looks like with a typical Alex course of about 400 topics. There are trillions of feasible knowledge states. The concept of knowledge states and spaces evolved into Professor Famanier's groundbreaking research known as knowledge space theory. In 1992, he obtained a large NSF grant to put his theory to practice. And then, Alex Artificial Intelligence was born. So how does the Artificial Intelligence Engine exactly work? The mathematical language of knowledge space theory made possible the creation of computer algorithms that rapidly and efficiently search the trillions of feasible knowledge states in an Alex course to determine which knowledge state each student is in at any given time in their learning. Let's take a closer look at how Alex interacts with students. Alex provides students with a cycle of assessment and learning. The assessment in Alex, which is adaptive and open response, determines what each student knows doesn't know, and is ready to learn, otherwise known as their learning state. The assessment only needs to ask an average of 25 questions to determine this, and relies on the empirical data from millions of Alex students to make precise inferences about a student's knowledge. The Alex assessment delivers the results in the form of the Alex pie. By identifying what a student knows and doesn't know, you have a complete diagnostic of where students are at the beginning of your course and throughout their learning. The learning in Alex, which consists of lesson pages, practice problems, and various supplemental resources, is optimized for each individual student 
because they're only presented with topics that they're ready to learn. This basically means they have the prerequisite knowledge to successfully learn these topics 93% of the time. This builds great confidence and learning momentum for students. To ensure that topics learned are also retained into long-term memory, Alex periodically reassesses the student using the assessment results to adjust the student's knowledge of the course. This cycle of assessment and learning is what makes Alex unique and is proven to ensure student success and mastery in math. Alex is different from traditional online homework for many reasons. The main one being that it is an intelligent system designed to empower instructors to help students achieve math success. Here's what you can expect when you use Alex. The Alex content is developed in-house and is not tied to any textbook. Our content development team, which consists mostly of educators, PhDs, mathematicians, designs the Alex content based on many factors, including today's educational trends, valuable customer input, and empirical data on the learning rates of millions of Alex students. Alex will save you a lot of time in the long run if you trust the system. Gone are the days of having to painstakingly build homework assignments, grade them, and then try to diagnose why students' homework results don't correlate with exam results. Think of Alex as your workhorse and you're in charge. Alex is constantly diagnosing a student's knowledge and delivers that information to you so you can have meaningful interactions with your students in and out of the classroom. Alex takes care of the homework aspect in the form of the Alex Pie. The purpose of homework is to ensure that students can demonstrate mastery of skills and concept they've learned so that they can assuredly demonstrate mastery again on an exam. By offering students a cycle of learning and assessment optimized just for them, you'll begin to see a strong correlation between mastery in the Alex Pie and mastery on exams. Last, the Alex data is vast and deep. Learn how to use the Alex Pie, the Time and Topic Report, and the Progress Report to your advantage. It can be immensely helpful in so many ways. You can find your outliers on day one see interesting learning trends in the curriculum, and create a data-informed learning environment. The most important thing you can do when using Alex is to ensure that your students understand how it works and how it will benefit them. Make sure that your first day of class has an Alex orientation. There are many resources available on the Alex website and through your McGraw-Hill learning representative to help you do this. Here are a few tips that you should always include. First, be sure to explain the importance and purpose of the Alex assessments, otherwise known as knowledge checks. Present Alex as an interactive, intelligent learning experience. The learning mode in the Alex Pie is the homework for the course. It's as if students have their own personal human tutor that helps them learn, checks for retention, and ensures that they get that A on the exam. Students should know that logging in on a regular basis will help them time away from the system can actually be punitive. And last, Alex Customer Support is here to help with any technical questions. Be sure to share the contact information and support hours with your students. Remind them that they can quickly contact support through the Alex Message Center. Last but not least, here are a few helpful links to help you and your students get started with Alex. You can find helpful resources, customer support information, and learn more about the science behind Alex. I hope you found this video helpful. If you ever have any questions, please be sure to contact Alex Customer Support.